In a previous video, I installed a new steering wheel in my 1966 Mustang, but the horns weren't working, and I figured we'd tackle it later, and so this time we're going to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in here and see if I can get these horns to work, and then we'll kind of work our way back to the, the terminals there in the steering wheel, uh, if, see if that's maybe the problem. Um, in, the, in the last video, I took off the steering wheel, and um, there's a gouge right here um, that's in the, this copper contact and I don't know how well you can see that but um, I don't know if that's why the horns weren't working before um, the previous owner I don't know if they installed this and had a problem I know that when I took this off the wires inside were connected so that's part of the problem um, but I wonder if there was something going on with that and they just disconnected them so it wouldn't be an issue um, I did know that the when I was doing that last video, um, the wires were unhooked from the horns as well, so um, I don't know what they were thinking there and what they were trying to do, but let's see if we can get them to get back to work. So, uh, all right, let's get started. So the easiest thing we can do is just connect from the battery to the terminal here on the horn and see if it works. This right here is where the horn is grounded, but if we just put a, a lead from the, the battery to here, it should sound the, switch on the horn. Alright, good, so we know that one worked. Alright, so here's the driver's side horn. So we just need to hit this terminal with the lead and... You know, there's some, there was some paint on here. I wonder if maybe we need to sand a little bit of that off to see if we can get uh, some of that paint off there. There, now that terminal is exposed, let's see if we can get it to... There we go, okay, good. So, we know that the horns work. That's a good sign. I think what we'll do is, uh, we'll go back to the steering wheel and look at the terminals um, in the steering wheel that were causing that gouging problem and see if we can go from there. All right, first thing we gotta do is take off this ring on the steering wheel. This, the first part of this ring holds on the steering wheel and then we gotta take the horn button off after that. inside there. <laughs> okay, well, let's dig that out. <laughs> Crap. All right, so, um, <laughs> rule number one, um, don't buy crappy tools. Um, you'll be forced to make sacrifices on your car when you use bad tools. I had to take a Dremel and cut a screwdriver slot into the head of this fastener to get it so that I can get it out, but I damaged this trim ring in the process, so um, gosh, I really don't like doing this, but this is the choices that I'm left with when I make bad decisions and buy cheap tools. So, let's finish taking this thing out. Gosh, it didn't take much to get that screw, but it was enough to damage this whole setup. Gosh darn it. Oh well. Could be worse. Could have busted the screw inside here or something like that and then had to drill it out or something like that. Okay, so now that the trim ring comes off, the steering wheel can come off, and then this horn button pops right out. It's just got some clips in here that just press in there. You can take these terminals off. You need to take this nut off again that holds this hub onto the steering wheel. And hopefully this time we won't have to pull it like we pulled the last one. Okay, the problem I was having before is this one right here, it looks like the tip of it's busted off or something and it's got real sharp edges. This one's got, this one looks normal, um, but this one, uh, we might have to replace these. Um, but let's, uh, let's hook up the horn and then I'll just bridge these two contacts and just see if that's working. We know that the horns are working up there because we just tested them off the battery. So from here, okay that's good. That's a good sign. So, before, um, I don't know if there's something going on with this. Or these leads aren't, no, they're soldered on there. Um, so let's, 
Let's put this back in place. We'll just put it in here for now, we'll just hold it in place. And we'll hook up the leads. So, this isn't working. So let's test these leads. Okay, so it's not working here. So that means we gotta go back to behind this hub. And we know that that these leads on here are working. Yep. I just wonder if they're worn down enough that maybe maybe they're just not getting a good enough contact. And so we probably have to take this off and see if we can replace these pieces. Alright, so taking this this turn signal assembly out of here, we've got a couple of screws that are holding it in place. So let's get those out of the way first. Now we can get a better look at this setup here and yeah they're riveted on um, almost looks like you have to replace the whole assembly which means you gotta wire in all these wires yeah see there's that blue wire with the yellow stripe that we were looking at um, all right well let's look into getting a new one of these okay so here is the new Turn signal switch, wiring harness setup, um, just like the other one, these are the two contacts for the horn that we're focused on, although you get this whole other assembly with it. Um, you can't just buy these by themselves, you have to get this whole system. Um, also you need to de-pin the connectors and put these in. It doesn't come with the connectors, I wish it would have, but you still have to take it apart anyways because you have to slide this whole group down the steering column. So let's get the other the other system pulled out of the car and then uh, we'll take we'll take notes of where we're at and then uh, put this new one in. So we're gonna unplug this connector and then this connector here are the two that we're gonna unplug for this system. And then we're gonna wanna take these terminals, take these uh, Take these out of here, and you may have to use either a small, small flathead screwdriver or some needle nose pliers uh, to, to bend the little tiny tab inside here that you're going to want to bend, and then you can pull the wire out from the back side. Before you do that, you're going to want to either draw a picture or make sure you understand exactly where which wires are and where they go so they go back in the same, same spots. So I better. Uh, I better draw that up first. All right, so now I made my term my drawing. Here's here's my drawing. And what I did is on this smaller terminal, there's a little there's a little tab on this, so you can only um, I guess you can identify which side is, is which uh, on here. And same thing on the big one. There's a there's a, a tab or a, a piece on this edge, but on the back side it's flat. So I can go ahead and pull these out and then I can put uh, put these aside because you need to save these clips. And then I can feed this through the steering column and uh, put the new one in. All right, so like I was saying before, we just there's a little tab inside here that you have to depress. And once you do that, you can pull the wire out from the back side. And then you just do that on all of them. All right, and then here's the last one. Pull that out. Again, you want to save these clips. So this whole thing now can come out. All right, we just finished fishing these through, and just like that. Now the next part, we're gonna have to take this column piece, take these screws, there's two Phillips screws in here, and we'll slide this piece down so it'll allow us to feed the wires through and then down into the column. There's a tube or there's a slot inside the column, but we need to move this sleeve back. All right, so let's get this tack out of the way. Just loosen this up and slide it, kind of slide it down. 
a little bit, and then we got to get these two Phillips screws. Now that this is out of the way, we can feed the wires through here and down inside this, this column here and it will poke out the bottom right where we were hooking up those terminals, those uh, connectors. Notice that I taped up these wires on the end here, that's just to keep them in a group. When you're pushing this down through the steering column, you don't want these to separate and bind up and stuff, so by taping them together it should allow them to just feed through pretty easily. Alright, let's see if they came out the other end. So here they come. They're coming out the steering column now. We can just help this through along there. Okay, so now we have all the same wires that we had before. We're just going to use our little paper diagram that I made and we're going to go ahead and hook them back up to these terminals uh, just like it was before. my fingers that that was done right but because uh yeah I thought I should do it all right now that we're back up top uh this make sure you want to put the blinker shaft back through this little hole in here you can just feed that in Everything's wired in, and uh, so now I think what we can do is I'm going to hook up the battery and uh, we can bridge these two terminals right here and see if the horn is working, uh, and then we can test all the, the, uh, the blinkers uh, before we finish putting all this back together. Let's put that on there. Alright, thumbs high on that one. Okay, good news. Alright, here's that one screw that I had to cut. So we're going to go ahead and put him back in until I can get another decorative screw to put in here. Be careful, don't buy the cheap T-handles because a little ball in the end will bust off inside that fastener. All right, let's plug the battery back in and make sure that the horn works. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, that's another one done. Um, this is just a follow-up video to putting in this new steering wheel and my horn wasn't working on the other setup and we found out why it was because of this wiring setup. That's what we had to replace that today. Um, but the blinkers work, uh, the horn, the horn works, and uh, we're ready to get back on the road. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one. Hi, my name's Andy. You gotta have that light on. Hi, my name's Andy, and then today we're gonna address the horns uh, problem that I'm having. Hi, my name's Andy. And in today's video, we're going to address the pro- Hi, my name's Andy. And then today, we're going to take a look at the horns that are- And then from here, 
Whoa. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, I better go and plug the battery. Let's do that first. Everything's wired in. Um, that probably shouldn't do that. 